even though Vail Mountain extended their season for this weekend and people will be on the slopes, we want to invite you to a community event that just sounds amazing. I'm learning firsthand about the Mountain Harvest Coalition. Joining us now, we have Megan Lovelace as well as Sean Bruckman. And this is a project of the Vail Valley Salvation Army. And you know anything associated with the Vail Valley Salvation Army, Sue Wolin Brown and their crew, they have so much passion. And tell us about how this is really going to grow community and grow food literally right Sean yeah so this event is really for anybody who eats food which is <laughs> okay, everybody, everybody. <laughs> yeah so it's really important that we're conscious of where our food comes from and putting healthy things in our body and so we're trying to really extend that to the Salvation Army as well as to the community well, and it sounds like it's going to be government, non-government, uh, non-profit, small business, farmers, institutions, community organizations. We're all going to be coming together to discuss this and learn more Saturday, all day Saturday. Right, all day Megan? Saturday at the Miller Ranch Community Center, and uh, it's a free event. We have a seed swap. We have a plant sale. Rick Kangas is going to be there with oh. his uh, fruit and veggie stand. We also have Sunshine Beef joining us with fresh grass-fed organic beef. And uh, it's a great way for everyone to get together and really learn about what's going on in the agriculture community well, and get involved. And we are hearing so much about you are what you eat, that old adage that your mother told you, it is so true. So knowing where your food comes, what they've been fed, if it's grass fed or not, and how you can source things locally or at least regionally. I mean, we're in the high country. We can't quite grow things when we have snow on the ground in the dead of winter. But just to get some ideas, this yeah, is exactly. just great. Yeah, exactly. And, and it's funny, there is a lot, quite a lot of growing happening up here at 8,000 feet, which a lot of people I don't think realize. And um, greenhouses are becoming a big thing. There's a lot of uh, local CSAs and local growers who have greenhouses that can grow through the winter. And so we're just trying to connect people to the resources in this valley. That well, are that's happening. the thing is um, it's kind of like recycling or, you know, changing out your light bulbs to something more energy efficient. We, we kind of know about it, but this gives us how to get from point A to point B, it gives us a map way and can really get people excited. You can bring your whole family too and teach your kids. Exactly. It's going to be really fun. And we're, we're really planning on having a fun session with lots of information, a fun after party with a five-piece band at Crazy Mountain Brewery. And, um, and during, during the event, there's going to be some breakout sessions. Absolutely. So a chance for every person involved in the event to really use their voice, take a leadership role, and vision what this summer, what this next year is going to look like for agriculture in Eagle County. There's a kids' activity station, so while the adults maybe are digging in and really uh, discovering how they can work together, the kiddos can be making some agriculture-based projects. Okay, well that's really nice to know because, you know, we have so many people that we don't have a lot of land, we don't have a lot of front yards or room for a garden, so if we can find out how we can get involved in other ways if, if we only just have a window box and maybe could grow some herbs but just learning about maybe community gardens or just different things that we can get involved in that's what it's all about yeah. exactly okay yeah. awesome yeah. and how did this come about and how did you guys team up with the Vail Valley Salvation Army oh gosh uh, well the Eagle County Food Policy Council started about 10 years ago through Eagle County Public Health and uh, when uh, the healthy communities can uh, coalition got a new director, uh, we moved on over to the Salvation Army, really realizing that um, healthy food access is so important uh, for everyone in the community and bringing a community together around healthy food access through really fun activities like growing food and learning yeah. about food is a great way for everyone to remember that there's hungry people everywhere and everybody deserves the right to fresh healthy food. Okay, definitely. And we can learn more. So once again, this is a free event. It's happening 8.30 to 3 p.m. with the after party over at Crazy Mountain Brewery. And it is going to be at the Miller Ranch Community Center. You can just go right there and park. Or if you want to learn more on the website, mountainharvest.org. Thanks, ladies, for coming in today. Thank Thank Great information. We're going to take it over to Mark Sassy. He's standing by live in Vail Village with our weather.